So today, we let another American into Canada. Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. I wanted a truck because I want a camper. Got it. That was, had to be a truck, couldn't be an SUV again, so Wrangler was out, Bronco was out. I really like the Bronco platform for daily driving, for those short weekend adventures, so I thought the Ranger would be a quick, good option. But the Ranger is not a Bronco. It's a distant cousin. For me, it, it wasn't it. It was too much of a Tacoma for me. You know, it was too... Two IFS and Leaf Springs, yeah, yeah pretty much Tacoma. Commuter friendly mid sized truck. So then it was like, all right, do I go to just a bigger truck like an F 150 or a 1500? And they wouldn't fit in my garage, and my HOA, I have to park in my garage. So, I love those rules, eh? So, what so, with the, uh, the platform I love, the Jeep platform. So, Justin called me up because uh, he was getting out of the Bronco scene and decided to get back into the Jeep world because he was sick of tie rods snapping all the time. You know how it is. Yeah. So he's like, what should I put on my truck? And I was like, what tr I trust more than anything else and what has not left me stranded are the TerraFlex suspension systems. For many reasons, one, the bushings, they don't need rebuilt all the time. The parts are solid or cast steel. The Falcon shocks are the best shock option for the money, prove me wrong. Hard anodized coating that will still look good in three years if you live in Canada or somewhere where there's harsh weather, no one else can do that. So he gave old TerraFlex a call, sent a bunch of paperwork his way, and he brought all the stuff with him all the way to Canada for us to put on. To the best of my knowledge, he's pretty much got the entire catalog here. We've got the extended travel system for the rear for the Gladiator. We have HD springs front and rear because he is going to pick up a go-fast camper on his way back through Montana. We have Falcon shocks for the Eco Diesel, adjustable, three threes. Nexus 2.2. Two. Full set of control arms, which is over there, like we're running out of table, so they're kind of spread all out of the shop. Gotcha. But all in all, it's going to look much better when it leaves here, even though it's already on 37s. Despite what the internet tells you, <laughs> You can't run 37s without a lift. If you disconnect your sway bar, you will no longer have fenders on the vehicle in the front. Put a proper lift on it. This was his way of transporting the tires here. Seemed to work. Tell the boys that we're together. Oh, yeah. We haven't told them. Well, let's just take a selfie. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'd like to. I'd like to. <laughs> Are you getting in here, Jim? <laughs> this is hilarious. Paul, get in here. Oh, my God. How? <laughs> Squish. Yes, no. What are you doing? I, well, I sent my selfie first. You took a selfie already? <laughs> yeah, mine's really special. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good seal that. Mm. Yay! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> One more. Woohoo! <laughs> they just slip out sometimes. Watch well, here, story till you get thrown out the fucking door. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm sensitive every day. It's not my fault that I was only born with one nerve. And you're on it! Okay, talk to me, Goose. We have finished your front suspension. And you'll notice. Can I touch uh, it? You can touch it all you want. Yeah. It okay. is now yours. It feels done. Yeah. Yes, that's what. Yeah, perfect. Okay. It's solid. It yeah. really is. So, what we've done here is it has the full TerraFlex package here. We've got the speed bumps here. So, in case you miss that cross ditch, I will. When you're driving really fast in the dust, yeah. this will help. Um, we've got the Eco Diesel specific 
new version of the Falcon 3.3s with the uh, much nicer to adjust knob on there for setting number two. Um, we've got all the Alpine IR arms are on here. We've got the track bar bracket. We have upgraded the steering so that we can get your Nexus stabilizer out of harm's way up top. And now you have the same joint at all four points. So if you ever want to carry stairs, you'll have to carry one. Oh, that's but these idea. will last a very long time. Um, this is steel. This is also steel. That's a good thing because they get along. If this was aluminum and this was not steel, it's like a bad marriage. Eventually, someone's gonna get very mad and shit's gonna go sideways. Or it's like a really good marriage and they just stick together forever. Forever, oh, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> it's much like like an old religious marriage where you can't you get divorced because <laughs> God will smite you. Yes, this is uh, before the Church of England. We added the drop brackets to fix the alignment and how it handles so that the Control arms sit at a nice level angle instead of on an angle. So when you hit bumps, it'll be a much smoother and your handling on the highway will be much nicer than your ride here. And we are doing a lot more to the rear than we did to the front. We like the rear. Right to the tip and it up. To the tip. Yeah, fuck. We're making sure it goes right in this hole nice and smoothly. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I swear to God, now that you lose, kind of go on a little bit and then come off a little bit, and then go on a little bit and then come off a little bit. That's yeah, yeah. exactly it. See that? Look at that. You, you had to have the stroke right. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, jeez. That cannot go. Wow. That cannot go. Get us on Patreon, please. Oh, Brings or new meaning to thread the needle. Like I said, we've done this two or three times. Wow, I'm so proud of you. You know? And it's like the end of the day. It's 424. I know. I mean, and you're you... still going. Like, most people don't have How much food. caffeine have you had today? Oh, about half my usual. Sure. See? <laughs> Look, you're running at a... <laughs> you're running at a half power. <laughs> Remember, I used to literally do an off-road company on the ground with no hoist. I used to walk to work in the snow. I'll go both ways. You gotta also make sure we get the inner fin supporting you. <laughs> oh. All right. What's up guys, Sean here from the story till now. If you don't know about the Epic online store, the new one, epic-4wd.com, they have all the stuff you need like Terraflex, Metal Cloak, 67 Designs mounts, all the stuff that we use, everything that you need is at that store. Go check it out. And if you use the link in the description, it helps support my channel, which I appreciate. Thanks, guys. So in the back here, I just want to go and point out that we've got some springs. There are some shocks and uh, we've even added some brackets. And that is my suspension. That's in case you thought he was me. We have finished the rear in this truck now, or should I say Landon has finished the rear in this truck now. And it now has TerraFlex's extended travel system. So not only do we have the nice track bar bracket that we always add on to everything, we have added the full extended travel. We took the sway bar that sits down in harm's way. It is now up above the frame with these massive sway bar lengths and crazy long brake lines so that you can get up to 17 inches of rear wheel travel. We have also went with TerraFlex's new HD springs because he is going to load this like a normal hoarder would. Yeah. He's gonna be going to swap meets 
He's gonna be stopping by the antiquing stores on his way home. Oh yeah, for those like air yeah. pianos where you don't yeah. even have to play them. No, he really wants that those uh, nice white plates with the blue mm. design around it. Don't tempt me. Regardless, I need a curio cabinet though. You I gotta. Need I need somewhere to put them. IKEA. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's easy enough. Obviously, you got Falcon shocks, the longest ones you can add. Everything's gonna work really well and have no maintenance required. All the arms have the IR bushings in them, independent rotation. So we didn't have to wait and tighten it on the ground when it was at rest. It doesn't have a rest. It can go wherever it wants, up, down. It does not need a nap. It's awesome. This well, is going on. to drive like a dream. One of these things is not like the other. Okay, so this gold bar, you might ask, he asked for a little bit of bling. No. Oh, no, what was it? That's he nice. didn't want to have his tire off the trailer hitch on one of those rattly racks. That's about right. That right? Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. He didn't want to put it in the bed of the truck either. No. Because he wants to live in there now. Yeah. Because that's how much gladiators cost. Yeah. <laughs> that's um, not wrong. He didn't want a swing out bumper because when Sean had one, it fell off on the trail. This so we good. tried to fit it here. Yeah. And uh, turns out we just fit the 37 inch between the frame rails with removing the heat shield and adding this metal cloak bent rear track bar. So hopefully this will work. Yeah. I'll let you know. You're probably sick of us talking about the TerraFlex suspension, the parts we put in the vehicle, but there's a reason we do it. This isn't just the first day it's going in. It's like, look how nice all these new parts look. These parts will look nice if you clean them off down the road. They will still look nice, work nice, and not have noises. You're not gonna pull up to the drive-thru and, <laughs> and turn the wheel. No, it's built for every day and the weekend. And if you're Worst me, to live by. Every day is the weekend. Or if you're a YouTuber, <laughs> you don't work or have a job. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He's not wrong. You're just, whoa, just another stop. narcissist with a camera. Don't stop, it's, it's not true. He's totally right, it's fine, it's okay. He's right, but it's, it's don't fine. let him know. So, you're totally wrong, man. Stay in your lane. Hey, <laughs> no, hey, we're talking suspension. Don't talk This is my it. camera guy right now, okay? My camera guy. So, you get your own camera guy. <laughs> So I imagine you thought we were all done because it was on the ground, we drove it around. Justin was happy, he was about to leave for the border and run because he's sick of being up here in Canada. He has an allergic reaction to maple syrup. Um, but he's not leaving without a Kraken, obviously. How else are you gonna air up your tires? And he's not just getting a Kraken, he is getting something new that we haven't put out yet. This is a fully assembled Kraken system here. It's got all your features, all your settings and stuff, all ready to just drop in the car run some hoses, run the wire to the battery, you're good to go. But what we're gonna do differently is we're gonna do the Kraken pressure control upgrade system to it from ARB. So with this, it's gonna be just like one of those old rotisseries back in the day, I think it was called Rome Propel. You're gonna set it and forget it. And it's just gonna be done. So you guys need to take measure. Those are called inches. That's oh. what we use, uh, they're called eagles. Oh, Basically, see, you're gonna measure everything. It sounds better if you say you got an eight centimeter. No, no, no. They just because most got, people can't tell inches to centimeters. You got four and a half bald eagles there. You're really doing it right. Four and a half bald eagles. Yeah, that's oh, that's that's, that's, that's that might hit the sweet spot. Might yes. not hit the bottom, but might hit the sides. Got yeah. it. <laughs> this is a fully assembled Kraken system with the pressure control upgrade kit already to be put in the vehicle for assembly. So this is how it looks before it goes in the car. We deflated all the tires, one, so we could see how quickly we can air the tires back up and utilizing the ARB app so they stop exactly where we want them with us doing nothing. Okay, so we're gonna take that up to 35. And what do I do? So the mode is in off because I unplugged it. Keep 
Taking them out, figure yourself out, boom. Yeah, nine minutes, 11.04. That's from 10 to 35, that's impressive. Awesome. Get my grab new bag, open up the top. Boom. completed Justin's vehicle. He can now travel back down to the beautiful Montana he's heading to now so he can pick up his go fast camper because he's sick of sleeping inside the truck right now. It's a little cramped. So cramped. So cramped. The seat doesn't even go back far enough. It's it's, just, it's the wrong it's, place to be. It is not a transport truck with a sleeper cab. It just doesn't work like that. So we have built all the TerraFlex stuff on here that we think adventure would need at the max level. Not everyone needs what is set up on here, but everyone does need some of the parts for sure. Now that we have the full TerraFlex suspension with the arms, with drop brackets, with Falcon shocks, all the steering upgrades, the extended travel system, you won't even have to lose your deflators. They're in your wheel now. So we've got the Nomad split spokes so we can air down without looking for them in the glove box. So heavy duty springs. Heavy duty springs so we can carry all the cool overland gear nobody uses except in a parking lot to show their friends. So many scottles. So many scottles. Yeah, all of them. And Tembo Tusk, other stuff, and who knows what you'll find. Maybe a fancy Damascus katana, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever they decide to cut hot dogs with these days. Rock slide engineering power steps are on it because if your wife can't get in your vehicle, you are not going to put a lot of money into your vehicle. I'll tell you that now. And of course, the last thing, the Kraken system with the new ARB. Pressure monitor system? What the hell is the thing called? Pressure control upgrade kit by ARB. With the first to not be one of our vehicles, pressure control system add-on from ARB with it. So you can just set the stuff on your phone, set it and forget it. It's like literally like doing the Instapot thing. Set it, come home, eat, simple. Look at that beautiful Kraken. Oh, and the other Canadian stuff, you can see the Peter McKinnon bags and all that kind of stuff. If you don't have that as a filmographer or a camera guy, do you even take pictures? I think it's it's ready. It's ready for a tent, some drawers, and then uh, the next mod, just add miles. Lots of miles. I do like driving it last night. It's great. Yeah, it's great. It's been great this morning in the rain because there was like a whole standing water moment and I didn't care. Just drove right through it. See that? No complaints. I had high expectations. Mm -hmm. You exceeded them. Good. Nice. <laughs> this is really wow. Crazy. That's a first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't hear that often. No, I'm serious. Like, this is the attention to detail on every aspect of it. See later. Drive safe. Yeah. What is your passport? Yeah. No, I got it. <laughs> Looking for an epic Jeep? Give us a call.